Okay, this, if, if this is the only one you listen to, no, the other ones are really important. You need to stick around for the whole video, okay? <laughs> I'm like, it's actually making me nervous that I've said this out loud. <laughs> but I just think that your money is so precious and that's how I feel. These things might help you avoid those disasters and help you to ask better questions. Thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Well, hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and we run a real estate and design business in the Atlanta area. And uh, wow, it is a very busy time of year. There is a lot going on and I am so glad to be able to take a little break with you guys, have a little fico with some uh, really yummy cookies and they are free to eat by Cybels. Cybels? Cybels, yeah, look at that. Today we are going to be talking about exterior paint mistakes. And the reason why is that I just, it just seems like this is the agenda right now. I have been doing so many paint consultations in our local area. It's something that I do particularly in my own neighborhood. And so I'm out and about a lot and I love doing these because I love getting to meet my neighbors and you know, those in my local area. But I just think it's also so much fun to paint the exterior of your home. It's a huge investment. So not only is it fun because you get so much bang for your buck, but it's also an investment. And I think that side of it makes it kind of stressful. And if you can make really good choices on the exterior of your home, it can be something that's really wonderful. And then if you make some of these mistakes that we're gonna talk about today, it can be a total disaster. So we're gonna to try to load you up with lots of ideas and tips and tricks that will keep you from all of these paint exterior disasters and really help you make sure that you get exactly what you're looking for, that your home Home is that beautiful place that you cannot wait to drive up to and you're excited to invite all your family and friends over as well. We want you to be house proud. So uh, we hope you'll hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's jump into today's video, shall we? Okay, the number one mistake that I, the number one, ooh, it's almost more of a disaster to be perfectly honest. This is more of a disaster than a mistake because if you have a certain type of home and you decide to just disregard what kind of home you have and just put up whatever kind of paint scheme you like, it could end up being an actual disaster because the style of your home is something that you really need to consider when you decide to paint your home. A lot of times what I see is that people will see something on HGTV, they'll see something on Pinterest, they may have seen something while they were driving around on vacation somewhere, and then they come home and they want to replicate that look wherever they are in the world, and it doesn't work. It doesn't always work, at least. Sometimes it does. Sometimes a color palette works no matter where you are, but then there's times when it's just a total disaster. So what I recommend is that you take a really good step back from your house and take a photo of your house. Then start identifying what the style of your home actually is. Think about what you're working with. Down here in the South, a lot of people are painting their houses white and a white house looks great on certain style homes. It fits naturally with certain uh, like Southern style homes. Maybe it's a farmhouse, maybe it's something with a big porch on it. There's classic Georgian, you can do a lot of white with that. There's a lot of different homes that look amazing white and then there's some homes that just look weird when they're painted white. But I think it's really important to identify the style of your house and the style that you really want overall for your home. Another mistake that I see people making all the time is that they will do an exterior color or an exterior scheme for their home and they won't think about their interior style. So a lot of times you'll see something on the outside and then you come inside and then it doesn't match at all. So another thing that I like to do when I'm doing a paint consultation, is obviously it's with someone that I, I don't know. I, I haven't gone inside their house. I don't know what their style is. So we'll walk inside or I'll ask them some questions about their decor inside because what we really want is for the moment you drive up to the front of your house all the way in and all the way through and out to the back to their for there to be this feeling that everything was just really thought through 
and that everything was really thought through by the same person and that the style of the home and the feeling and the essence is seamless. I think that that's something that's really important. And I know some designers are like, oh no, one style here, one style there, but generally, I just like for things to feel cohesive. They don't have to be matchy-matchy, doesn't have to all be the same, but it, there's this, this essence that there's one hand that has been working its magic over the entire experience of your home, and I think that that is really, really key. <laughs> I'm like, my husband isn't here, he's in meetings today, so I don't have him here to blame. I. He's just been so busy lately. So yes, I'm gonna take one for the team and I'm gonna tell you that I think it's a disaster. It really is a disaster to not consider the location in which your home is located. <laughs> Because a lot of times what will happen is just like I said before, you'll go on vacation, maybe you went to Charleston and you saw Rainbow Row, maybe you went to Mexico and you fell in love with Palmitas, maybe you went to the Bahamas and you love all the multicolored homes or even went to Chefchaouen in Morocco and you're like, I know what I'm gonna do when I get home. I think that it's really important to consider where you live and your location and what's natural to your area. It's interesting because there's always a conversation of what's new and what's coming. And trying new ideas in different locations is something that we can do. You don't have to always have the exact same colors. But at the same time, <laughs> I know that when you drive down a street and all the houses really just kind of have a similar flavor to them and then all of a sudden there's one really, really red one or they're, they're all white and cream and beige and like soft greens and, and then there's like a, a turquoise house and you're like, what happened here? <laughs> I think that it's normal to want to bring a piece of your vacation home. I know that we are definitely 100% guilty of that ourselves. We love to travel. We've lived overseas for 12 years. We've been in Africa, Europe, Asia, and all over the world. And we love to bring those elements home with us. But right now, even I'm considering painting the exterior of my home and I have to be realistic about where I am and the style of my home. And I need it to feel like it belongs where it is. So there's little tricks that you can use and you can modernize things and we'll get to some of that in just a minute. But I think definitely consider your street, consider your, your area, your town, and think about what feels right and what feels as though it's in its place. I wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Simply Safe. Wow, we are so excited to have Simply Safe not only as a sponsor, but also now helping us protect our home. It's incredible. I absolutely love their entire system. Yeah, so Jack has been uh, kind of like going around and fixing it all up. So did you find it easy to install? This was by far the easiest thing I've ever installed. I'm not incredibly handy and this was so simple. Every little part comes with an app and you just hit a little button and it adds it and it's just like, oh my gosh, that's so simple. And the instructions are so straightforward. Yeah, I love it because not only was it easy for you to install, <laughs> Andy's got some gadgets to show you, but I love that it gives me peace of mind. I love that we know that we're aware of what's going on with our home. And I think it's really cool that this also has the ability for us to see when packages are on the porch. Which there's a lot of those packages, so it's nice knowing when those arrive. So we have cameras up front as well as around the house, which is great so we can yeah. know when all those packages have arrived. Whether you're gonna be here, maybe you're just gone to the grocery store or you're going on vacation, I just like the fact that we know what's going on with our house and it has the water sensors. And, and for me, especially, we work in real estate and design. So a lot of times we see when things go wrong with the house, like if a water heater has dripped or leaked or something and you're maybe on vacation and didn't know. So I love the fact that this comes with the little uh, water sensor. It has the water sensors you can put all throughout the house. It has the window detectors. It has a glass break detector. It has motion detectors. It has so many things built into and it. And all of that is controlled by either the remote, right? Yeah, you can control it. You can do the traditional home pad, or if or you're you like use the Jack, app. <laughs> he's gonna use the app. I know, which is so much fun. I love the fact that even everything looks designer because of course I want this to look like it belongs in the house. Home. 
Simply Safe, of course, wants to hook you guys up as well, so they've given us a discount code to share with you. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com backslash House of Valentina to learn more. Thank you again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. We'll have all the details down below in the show notes, so make sure you check that out. And now let's talk about the exterior of our home, which really does fit, doesn't it? it because really we've does. got the little sign out in the front of ours too. I know. I so love fun. it. I love it. So <laughs> yes, thank you, Simply Safe. Okay, this, if, if this is the only one you listen to, no, the other ones are really important. You need to stick around for the whole video, okay? <laughs> but this one is really, 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 really important. And I think, oh no, they're all common. They're all common mistakes. This one in particular is just, it's a disaster if you don't really think it through. Not coming up with a palette for the entire scheme is a total disaster just waiting to happen. And what I find is that a lot of times people will think about just the walls, the exterior of the home, and they get really, really excited. They're gonna, we're gonna paint the house white. Uh, we're gonna paint it gray. We wanna warm things up. Or we're gonna go with a warm uh, beige or maybe a taupe. And they get really, really pumped about the exterior color of the house. And then they forget that there's like a million other decisions that have to happen, and those other decisions are really important and play into which white you choose or which gray or whichever color you're choosing that plays into what kind of lighting you should have, what kind of door handles you need to choose, what kind of stone for your pathway. All these decisions, they're all tied together. And sometimes people can look out and choose one and it can kind of go and it, okay, it works, but a lot of times it doesn't work. So. Some of the things that you really, really have to consider when you're wanting to paint the exterior of your home, you need to think about all of it. You need to think about your fascia boards. You need to think about your gutters. You need to think about your roof. So many times people forget about the roof color and the roof color really, really dictates the color of the house. Because if you have a brown roof and you choose a blue undertone color for the for the exterior walls of your home, it could look really, really off. Like, you just look at it. It's one of those things, if you're ever driving by a house and you're like, I don't know what it is, I just don't like it. A lot of times, it's the undertones. So your roof, unless you're changing out your roof, which a lot of times people don't wanna do that, it does tend to be pretty pricey, but if you're not planning on changing your roof, then you need to consider that as a major aspect of your color palette. Everything, everything has to be considered. And then when you come up with a cohesive palette for everything, then it just is like pure magic. And there's just like this like, oh, something just feels so right. One of the biggest mistakes is trying to pick your colors out in direct sunlight. So you can also think about coming out in the early morning, I think early morning, I wouldn't do it in late afternoon because usually you're gonna have a yellow cast on the house and everything's going to look more yellow than it actually will for the rest of the day. I literally make my paint appointments at 11 o'clock because I know that the, I'm most likely to get the best light at 11 o'clock a.m. because I'm looking for the most neutral light I can possibly get. And then I always tell my clients to get some samples and check the color throughout the day. Okay, this one is not maybe the end of the world, but it's a pretty big deal. If you've bought your home and you have a house from any other decade besides the current one, it's very likely that the way your house is painted is done in an old fashioned, possibly dated, do I dare say that word? Yeah, yeah. Potentially your house has a dated look to it because the way that they were painting things in the 90s is not the way that they're painting them now. Let's just, let's just bring up the 90s for example. A lot of times in the 90s, they were accenting a lot of the little stucco pieces that they would put over the windows. Uh, they were accenting 
vent, venting on the house, on the exterior. Maybe you had a gray house and you've got a white vent. It's my experience that generally the thing that is accented is the thing that your eye will be drawn to. Personally, I don't think that, you know, the little vents on the house are really all that pretty. Generally, the gutters aren't something that I would really want to accent. Occasionally that look can be really, really pretty. I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, the black gutters. I know what you're talking about and I know that is a really pretty look. But we're talking about having a gray house with a white gutter. That's not really making a big statement and it's actually detracting from the look of the house. And usually unless I'm trying to create actual drama with the items that I'm accenting, I'm going to make sure to paint the pieces that I don't want to accent the same color as the house. So those vents, any of those little pieces over the windows, uh, gutters that aren't really pretty. Why, why accent that? It just doesn't look good. It doesn't look current. We typically don't use that many colors on a house. And I think it looks better to keep the palette pretty simple and not accent those pieces. And just, it just feels more modern, more up to date, more current, the way we're doing things more nowadays. Yeah. And without further ado, shall we talk about what I think is probably the worst disaster of all? And it's hard, it's hard. I don't even wanna talk about this one, to be honest, because it may not come off as very nice, but it's too important to not tell you, okay? It's just too important. I have to tell you this because this is what I do all day long. This is what happens when I see things go the wrong direction and people are extremely unhappy and I see that these things are avoidable. Oh my God, that they're, yeah, okay. It's just a mistake to, to listen to people who don't know what they're talking about, okay? There, I just said it, okay? It could be your friend, it could be your neighbor, it could be your mom, it could be your granddad, it could be your child, it could be someone who comes from the paint company even. I think that you really need to own your decisions and really look at what is being recommended to you and really look at the pictures and the examples. One of the things that I always do when I create my PDFs that I deliver to my clients, which they can then either use for themselves or they may submit it to the HOA, I always include inspiration homes because I think that is really, really important. When you can see how the colors are going to look on the home, it's gonna give you so much better of an idea. And sometimes when I cannot, if someone's asked me for something that I'm like, this, this just isn't how I would do things. I don't think most people would. And I can't find a picture of it anywhere to help them figure out what it would actually look like. That's usually a pretty good red flag that maybe this isn't the best idea. It doesn't mean that it's not doesn't mean that you haven't thought of something new that's gonna be awesome, okay? I'm open to the idea. I like to break the rules, but I sort of have these guidelines that I always live by, and I find that they're super helpful, especially with the exterior of the home. Yeah, I mean, there's certain things that don't have to be done a certain way, and you can try some new things, but I don't think creating a rainbow on your house is maybe the best idea in general. Um, but yeah. So I just went there. I'm like, it's actually making me nervous that I've said this out loud. <laughs> but I just think that your money is so precious. And that's how I feel. I feel so much pressure when I'm helping someone pick the colors for the exterior of their home. Interior as well. But the exterior is something that's really, really important. It's outward facing. And if you make a mistake, you might get fined by your HOA. You may have to repaint the entire house. I just, I've met people that are in that situation and it is always a very unpleasant situation. So for me, that's why I just value this so much. And that's why I thought it might be helpful if you're thinking about getting your house painted, these things might help you avoid those disasters and help you to ask better questions. But yes, so I'm gonna leave links for everything that we've talked about today. I'm gonna leave my Pinterest account. You can check out my exterior board where I pin photos there all the time. The photos that I'm using for my daily clients. 
Obviously, a lot of that's gonna look pretty East Coast, but I also have other boards on there that'll give you ideas for other styles as well. And um, yeah, I think that's about it for today. Thank you again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. We'll have all the details down below if you wanna check out their amazing security system and get the discount code. And I really appreciate you guys stopping in. I hope that you have found today's video entertaining at the very least, and hopefully very, very helpful. Just remember that it's supposed to be fun, and this is, this is supposed to be fun, okay? <laughs> I hope that you enjoy the journey in creating your home from the exterior to the interior and all the way through. Thank you again for stopping in, and um, yeah, it's cookie time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye. Cookie first. Mm, 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 mm.